for me to get into a beer that my good buddy Dave at 1021 Brewing sent me in a recent trade. That's right. A little bit of loveliness, that's right, from New England. Because it was yet another tour of New England beard mail from Dave. And this particular beer is a lovely collab beer from two of my favorite New England breweries, Otter Creek Brewery and Jack's Abbey Brewery. Otter Creek, of course, is out of Middlebury, Vermont. And Jack's Abbey is out of Framingham, Massachusetts. What is the beer called from them today that we're going to pour down our neck post-workout? It's called Joint Custody. That's right. This is a German Pilsner, but they're calling it a Nouveau German Pilsner. It's been brewed once. It clocks in 6.2% ABV and 40 IBUs. Why is it a Nouveau German Pilsner? Because they're using new, recently produced German hops. That's right. They're using Huel Melon and Mandarina Bavaria hops. And it's a traditional Pilsner base. And as you know, in my opinion, the finest American lagers are being produced right now by Jack's Abbey. So this should be rocking the house because Otter Creek knows hops and Jack's Abbey knows hops and German beers and lagers. So let's crack the top on this bad boy, get in the glass and tell you what's up with the joint custody. Let's see here. Boom, nice crack on the top. Let's get in our Pilsner like glass here and see what's up. Ooh, we're going to get a nice head on this, I think, if I pour it too aggressively, so we'll be a little chill. But you know what a Pilsner so is to have a little head, isn't it? All right. Let's see here. What's up with the appearance? Ooh, it's a super hazy. Eh, no chunks floating in there or anything. Lots of active bubbles streaming up from the bottom, kind of like amber yellow color. It looks like an IPA or an IPL in the glass, which Jack's Abbey is awesome at making. Um, I think this beer is super fresh right now because I know one, Dave sent it to me, and two, it's just been released. So we got about a solid finger of super tightly packed bubbles because I didn't go crazy pouring it. Yeah, we're going to get glass lacing on this. And there's actually a little tiny bit of alcohol legs starting to coat the inside of the glass. Hey, imagine that, but take a look at that, guys. Really nice looking hazy, dirty beer. And as you know, if you watch enough DJ Brewtube, that's how I like them. Unfiltered, hazy, and all the yummies in there. So let's see what's up with the aroma. Wow, big hop citrus. Wow, for a beer like this, wow. Really hoppy Pilsner, actually IPL smelling beer. Pine, citrus, grassy herbal notes, orange, like orange and tangerine. And really a nice bit of dankness in there as well. It smells like an IPL, like or maybe a Nouveau Pilsner, like it's supposed to be said. There's today many, many versions of Pilsners, you know, that we have here. So it's time to dive in and see what's up with the taste, because that's really where it comes down. It smells really nice. There's no alcohol. It's got all those aforementioned flavors. I want to see what it tastes like now. Thanks, Jermaine, for sending this, Dave. Cheers. Mmm, wow. Oh, boy. Right up front, you get a big blast of citrus. I guess that's coming from that Mandarina Bavaria hops. But wow, tangerine dank, a bit piney, grassy. Maybe a little tiny bit of papaya and pineapple in there too. And tropical fruity, but dominant is that orange flavor. And those floral notes and the you get like a citrus sort of zesty bitterness at the side of your tongue. And in the back, it's got that stereotypic now that I've had a bunch of Jack's Abbey beers, super clean finish. This is more an IPL than I would say it's a, you know, a Pilsner. Built, you know, it's on a Pilsner base built on that, but wow, super clean finish. There's no bitter fingerprint on it. It's, it's got a great balance between the sweeter base of a, the Pilsner, but it's got a, almost like a a bite to it because of the German hops are using like a well-made all-grain Czech Pilsner would be. You know, that sort of like lemony bite that sometimes you get from Saz hops. Well, this, what I'm getting is this orange up front, and that's where all the bitterness is being driven from, like that orange and tangerine kind of zest, man. But this is a super tasty, easy-to-crush beer. Great glass lacing, just as I suspected. I mean, it was up here, and I'm down half this glass already like it's nothing. But, man, super refreshing, and Chris, I'm digging this beer. Let's talk about grades now. First, great beer is giving it 80. Eh, nah, sorry. 80 is not cutting it. This is not a B minus beer. Maybe if you were expecting a DIPA up in your grill or DIPL or something like that. But I think that's getting that grade because the stooges on there see the word Pilsner. Oh, I gotta give it a bad grade. Oh. Whatever. You know my feelings about right beer. Beer Advocates giving it 85. 
I think that's low also. I mean, that's just into the B plus range. Um, this beer is better than that. I'm giving it a 93, high A minus. I would drink this again any time of the day. It's very well made. It's not as crisp and as clean maybe as some of the Jack's Abbey beers. That's why I'm holding back from an A, but this isn't a Jack Abbey's beer. It's a collab. So it's got some of the notes that I've gotten from Outer Creek beers in there, and it's got the aggressive hoppiness that Brewmaster Mike over there is known for, and then it's got the clean finish that Jack of Jack's Abbey is known for. So it's a really good collab, really solid, one of the better collab beers I've recently had, um, but super tasty. I would, like I said, I would ha not hesitate to buy a six-pack of this at any time. It'd be a great beer to have in the house to introduce folks to hops with, but it's a little, it's not a, I don't know if this, I'd call this a training wheel sort of hoppy beer, but it's really tasty, and Young. So, have you had this beer? I doubt it. They didn't have big distribution on it. If you have had it, let me know what you think, because I like to quit for quo and the back and forth, because I don't know everything, and I like to know what you know. So, also, what I really like is when you think locally, drink locally, and support the craft beer movement, because that, along with copious amounts of joint custody from Outer Creek and Jack's Abbey, put my happy face on, and so does Dave's awesome generosity. Thanks again, man, for sending this. Also, I really like it when you rate, comment, subscribe, especially if this is your first time watching this, and smash that like button. So, to the next DJ's BrewTube, I got nothing but a bunch of joint custody drink and love for you, and you know what's coming, that's right, are you ready for it? Oh yeah, a big, a big